Who has the longest beard? Hey, my beard is longer than all y'all's beard. Martin may have the longest, but he's only got like 10 hairs coming out. Easy on the beard jokes. That's worse than a yo mama joke. Hey, look here, beard jokes are a lot like your mama jokes. Hey, look here, your beard is so fat, not even door can explore it. Your beard is so ugly, when it tried to take a bath, the water jumped right out. Your beard is so stupid, it took it two hours to watch 60 minutes. Your beard is so hairy, you look like Chewbacca. <laughs> your beard is so dumb, it sits on the TV and watches the couch. <laughs> That's a good one, Jack. I don't care who you are. Hey, what my beard lacks in thickness, it makes up for in length. I'm about four. Reed links. I'm a little over three. About four and a quarter. Uh, right here at the base. It's four and a quarter. I got the longest beard. <laughs> what are y'all doing? We're measuring our beards. That's right. How long is your beard? Reed length was. You think I'll sit down and measure my beard in reeds? It's five and a half. Oh. All right, anyway, look. I'm leaving out of town. I need you to You're sign. going out of town? Yeah. I have to go out of town for the day. And that means the likelihood of any work getting done while I'm gone is pretty much zero. Why don't you tell me when you're going out of town? I told you five times. Hey, if it were up to me, I would just break Jason's legs and chain him to his desk to make him work. I'd be like that weird chick off Misery, and he'd be the dude in the bed. But since there's regulations against that now, I've come up with another way to keep him at the office. You got one job. One job. Sign for a package. Four o'clock. Got it? I got it. You're going out of town. Good luck. And what are you doing? Signing for the package. Signing for the package. At what time? Uh. <laughs> I just told you the answer. <laughs> okay. I wasn't paying attention. I got Four it. o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. All right. I'm going to go sell them. Y'all got to make them. All right. Have fun. Selling some duck calls, boys. Oh, boy. Hey, there's no way Willie's beard was five and a half reeds. I agree with you. I'm still king. See that bevel on that hoop right there? Yeah. I did that 28 years ago. What is a bevel? Who's that? Oh, that's a old Reed Robinson, your grandson. Shut up, JJ. Hey, buddy. Hey. I got your jersey. Thank you. Especially in the Southern culture, young people are taught to respect older people, myself included. So I use that to my advantage. Why can I get out of that bus today before I get them out of here? I'm gonna patch that hook right there, and I'm gonna show you boys how to do it. They always come up with excuses right off the bat. Well, actually, actually we're gonna go watch uh, last night's game, game film, see what we did wrong. I've got football practice. I'm sick. I've had a sore throat for three days. Right now, I'm throwing up. I'm bleeding over here. Great, let me show you something right here. Free labor. Can't beat it. Well, if y'all gonna go to work on the nets, I'm gonna go start on lunch. How about, Phil? We really do need to go. We're gonna go watch film and stuff. Let me explain something to y'all. See, y'all are trying to make it. Well, I did make it. I played at Louisiana Tech. The old blonde bomber, old Bradshaw, he was a second stringer to me. Part of the reason I was tying up hook nets and he wasn't. See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This right here will help your hand-eye coordination beyond anything you ever thought. Take a breath. See what I'm saying? Football. <laughs> Lateral. Oh, I know. You know, who? <laughs> See what I'm saying? All right. See what I'm saying? Three, I think we just got Mr. Miyagi by your grandfather. Football. Favorite blind? My favorite blind to hunt? That's a tough question. The best blind is on the dog. 
You doggone right. That's one of the best blinds we got. We need to hunt this sucker tomorrow. Yeah, I'm with you on that, but the blind don't have any brush on it. Well, hey, we can easily rectify that. Brush it today. Willie is gone. Not only that, he ain't here. Know what I'm saying? I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, ready, hey, let's leave this duck call shop. I'm ready. I'll take a dare. I'm waiting for somebody to move. We ready? What are you talking about? Shotgun. Here we go. Drive. Sorry, you're not driving. It's my truck. Right, look. Well, hey, in that case, I want to drive for sure. Metal. Look, just because there's a button over there don't mean you got to touch it. So it wasn't me. So, huh? It'll right. work. Quit pushing the button. Hey, I'm not doing it. Look, my hands are here. One on the tea glass, the other one's in the open. You're yeah. hitting it with your knee, Sai. When you, whatever hits the button, it, it engages. Hey, look, it wasn't me. So, huh? I'm not doing it. When Phil gets the brush ready, he got a pile of it, don't he? I'm glad I got some uh, big hombres. Treat them like mules. <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Talking about it. Looks like I got a bunch of pro wrestlers out here. Rednecks are fascinated with wrestling. My favorite was Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He represented the redneck world. Probably the most torn up I ever was watching a TV show is when King Kong Bundy beat Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh! I mean, it took me a month to get over it. It was terrible. Oh, what about old that dude that drank all that beer when he was up there? Stone Cold? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, That's man. a redneck. Jake the Snake? Yeah, I like him. Catwoman. That's not a wrestler. Oh, no, she's a feminine feline. So oh, this just got real weird. Oh, yeah. No, what do you mean got weird? Hey, look, we gotta brush the blind, boys. Come on, cat woman. Da, 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 da. Well, this thing's taking shape. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks real good. Hey, on a slow day, it'd be good. You lay down and go to sleep. So you always talk about superheroes, and then in the next breath, you want to lay down and go to sleep somewhere. Superheroes gotta get his rest. How do you charge yourself, Si? A superhero can't reveal his secrets. They put them on national TV. Everybody knows their secrets. No, I'm just like Victoria. She's got secrets. Hey, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the duck food. Ain't no doubt about that. Oh, I know. Hey, what's that up there on the levee behind the boat, boys? Deer? What? No, wasn't no deer. Hey. That's a big black cat again, boys. Ah, it wasn't a black cat. I, I'm telling you, it was that black cat, man. Most people, when they see a black cat cross the road, they think it's bad luck. When Sai sees a black cat cross the road, he sees a panther. I know for sure I saw him, Jack. One of Sai's greatest stories is about the time he saw a black panther while riding in a vehicle. That I was driving. Two times I've seen that big black panther. Hey, trust me, he exists, okay? I've seen him twice, and I see his tracks all the time. That thing weighed, Paul, oh, what, 100, 125 pounds? <laughs> 125 hey, pounds? Hey, hey, I'm telling you. There ain't no black cat that big around here. Are hey, you kidding? This ain't no chupacabra. This ain't no Bigfoot. It's definitely in the Sasquatch. Hey, look here, I've seen all of them before. This is something totally different. I don't have time for this. Hey, Black I'm gonna be late. Good night. Who locked the doors? Uh oh. Sir? Hey, I didn't lock it. But hey, I'm looking at your keys in the ignition. Hey, look here. Jason's truck locked itself. Hey, it was just like in Terminator 2. What did I tell y'all about this stupid truck with this stupid automatic lock crap? This is how it all begins. They take over. Skynet, Jack, hey. Sir, you locked the door. No, I did not. 
You don't have to have a CSI investigation to figure out who did this. This sucker here's a piece of junk. Blame shifter. Hey, it locked us out. The fact that nobody's saying anything except Sai. No, 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 no. Sai. No, no. It's a dead giveaway. I didn't do it. Well, what are we gonna do now? We walk. Hey, this thing's a piece of junk. We still have time. Sai. It's a now, piece of junk. Now you trigger the alarm. Hey, it locked you out. And now, it's sitting back there making a bunch of racket. The sun's done got to these boys. Thanks to you, sir. Hey, but it wasn't me. The odds of me making it back to the warehouse before 4 o'clock are getting slimmer by the second. Automatic locking system gone berserk. And nobody's going to care about my excuses, which are really good. Look at the size Whoa. of that poop. There's ants on that poop. Good night. That's a bobcat or a young coat. No, that's uh, panther poop, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you see all these black panthers? Why? Because everything at a distance looks dark. No. Yeah. No. Well? No. Yeah. Hey. No. I'm gonna go with Sai on this one. What? No. Yeah, I'm gonna Sai on this one. I don't care if you go 30 feet or 30 miles. If you can see him, he's still gonna be a black panther. We'll solve that right now. Goblin, you play the role of the panther. Well, what do they sound like? We ain't worried about the sound. Bow! Don't make any sound. All yeah, right, Goblin. what do they eat? It, Goblin, you're, you're missing the point here. He's hungry. It doesn't matter what they eat. I just wanna get in the car. You're, you're, you're just an object that's gonna turn dark after distance. Huh? We'll prove this right now. Y'all tell me when to stop. Just keep going. It's gonna be a while, I'll let you know. All right, dude, let's hurry up and get out of here. I know, I'm almost done right here. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not bad. Boys, that takes care of your little hand-eye coordination, see? All right. So, uh, All right, we're gonna head out of here. I think we're gonna hit the huh? road. Well, before you do, look here. I'm fast running out of how to relate everything to football, but one thing for sure, I'm not running out of chores at all. Come out of your shoes, let me show you something. Come out of our shoes? Yeah, it'll help you a lot. Take them off. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, this, y'all need some work in this area right here. Are your feet looking like this, like little tender women's feet? No good. You want the bottom of your feet calluses, thick callus. Y'all get over there and get that boat, Get on one end, you walk across that gravel, it's gonna toughen it up your feet. You wanna win? Yes. You wanna win? Yes. Y'all grab that boat and head that way. We gotta win, big team. See, they're young enough and dumb enough not to realize that you're gonna use every ounce of physical labor you can get out of them. All right, boys, show me what you got. Footwork. Y'all gonna have the toughest feet on the whole squad. <sighs> oh, crap. Learn how to play with pain. <laughs> Pain's a good thing. Great, I think like your grandfather's lost it. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. You'd think I would have learned by now. Stop! Right there! Perfect. I don't care how far he goes down there. That white flag he's got that he called that little goatee, it ain't gonna look dark. Once he goes down into panther position, no, he's just gonna look like a dark blob. Jace is trying to convince me that, hey, Johnny Gowan, bald-headed with a white Fu Manchu, okay, if I get him at the right distance, he's gonna look like a black panther, okay? It ain't gonna happen. Hey! Like this. Get out like a panther. Black panther sightings come from two places, zoos and people with real thick glasses. <laughs> if I can't tell at that distance. That's why I'm not a receiver. Mr. Magoo over here definitely can't tell. Just like it right here, licking his left shoulder. Ty, what are you talking about? Hey, the panther was licking his left shoulder. Lick your left shoulder. What is he doing now? What is he doing? Cross the road! All right. Hey, wow. look. Look at that right there. You don't tell me that don't look like just a black blob. You know what that look like? A big black bear with a white beard. Hey, look here. Talk about my eyesight all you want to, but hey, back in now, they call me crazy eyes. 
The guys would say, hey, look out. Here come crazy eyes. Hey, crazy eyes is coming around the corner. That was because my eyes are crazy good. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you telling me I don't look like a, just a hey. dark blob? Looks like a drunk redneck looking for his keys. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it. It looks dark. Hey, it looks dark because he's got a dark shirt on. Hey, take your shirt off. Panthers don't wear clothes. Good grief. Wow! There he goes again. There he goes again. <laughs> Would you agree it's dark? Yeah, because, hey, he's got a stupid dark shirt on. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Take your shirt off. Go and take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. And do it again. Using Godwin as my guinea pig was probably not such a good idea, but it was a pretty good visual. Yeah! There he goes. <laughs> hey, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Hey. That's what I came uh, to see. Is anything dark about that? He, it was darker than normal. No. You know what that looked like to me? A big polar bear wearing pants. The lesson I learned, don't send a walrus to do a panther's job. I, I got to go. I don't have time to try to prove Look, a point that everybody knows. I can't believe I was a part of this. I'm not going to tell anybody what we did today. Wow! You want us to bang all these nails down? Bang all the nails down. All down the dock. You got it. What is this, hand-eye coordination or something? Oh, no. This is, uh... <sighs> At some point in there, they begin to question is this really helping, Mr. Field? Well, boys, I think we all know what's going on here. Let's just try to get through the process as painlessly as possible. Painlessly for you, maybe. Say what? Nothing. That's what I thought. Let's face it. We're keeping you out of trouble, and I'm using you as a workforce. Suck it up. And this keeps you from being distracted by all the little cheerleading chicks. <laughs> Both of you look like Tars and Son. Bumba. When these boys are about 17 and they start checking out the cheerleaders on the sideline, all that kind of stuff, you know, it's best to keep them occupied. You liable to run up on a cotton mile then there? <laughs> oh, no doubt about it. It's a free-for-all out there in America these days, especially when cheerleaders are concerned. You can't play ball and chase cheerleaders at the same time. Don't forget that. <laughs> yes, sir. Of course, when I was 17, I was checking out the chicks on the sideline. <laughs> This is really gonna help y'all's ball playing, trust me. Yeah, I bet. Welcome to civilization. We're here. I got a blister the size of goblin on it. I gotta find me a vehicle. Come on, find me a couch. Now, what's this bunch doing? Reed, I need your keys. So I locked the keys in the truck. We saw a Black Panther. Well, how, how am I gonna get home? You figure it out. I'm moving along here. I got no time to chat. It looks like Phil has the old football routine going. Come on, Jeff. Ha! Huh. So it's just best to get out of the area quickly. He gonna drive it like he told it. Looks like you would have a ride, son. Reed, I'm never coming back here again. Say what? I'm never coming back here again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, how are you? You the delivery man? Oh, yes, sir. Are you Jace? I'm Jace. Oh, well, here you go. I got a package for you. All right. One's down there. Woo! Whew. You talking about in the nick of time. You didn't think we were going to make it, did you? No. Is this it? Yep. There you go. All you right. have a good day. Appreciate it. This is Willie Robertson. What could it be? You want to open it? Yeah. I'm going to see what all this fuss was about. What? A doll? That's a bobblehead. Are you kidding me? I'm risking life and limb to sign for a bobblehead? It don't look anything like Willie. Way too skinny. Willie clearly did this to keep me at the office all day. I mean, he gives these things out to business partners. He has hundreds of them. I walked three miles for this. I'm just gonna spin his head off. Got damaged in shipping. Yeah, damaged in shipping, all right.
<laughs> Whoops, <laughs> Willie had an accident. The silver lining is, I was there. Not late. Well, I was late. But I got the job done. You feel better? Yeah, pretty much. That didn't even represent Willie. That was an imposter. All right, whoever designed that needs to go back to the drawing board and put some weight on it. Lord, we thank you for bringing home Willie safely from his trip. I thank you for this good food Miss Kay has prepared for us. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 The Robertson family is like a good bowl of Miss Kay's gumbo. All the ingredients may taste weird by themselves, but you need every single one to make the perfect blend. Every family member has their own set of quirks. One may see imaginary creatures in the woods. Another may hoodwink your children into doing chores. The important thing is learning to love them for exactly who they are, even if that means pretending to listen to Cy tell the Black Panther story for the millionth time. Hey, anything we don't eat, we can feed it to Cy's imaginary panther. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing imaginary about that thing, boys. Bow! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, everybody calm down. Hey, watch your step, boys. Yeah. Take your time. Watch your step. Take your time. We'll be the speed of this. Okay. One of the many perks of being in the Robertson clan... Sorry, are you pushing? No, I ain't pushing. Quit pushing. ...is that if you need help, all you got to do is ask for it. Sir, si, get your butt up here. Help. Hey. Today, I got all the boys helping me install my new dock. This will last about a month. It's a great system. Yeah, this sucks. But like any other system, there can be people who abuse it. Well, are you going to sit there and fart around, or are you going to go ahead and put a screw in it? I thought you were helping us carry I this. I am helping. Hey, put a screw in the thing. Lift for your neck. Don't get Caddy Wampler. Who you calling an idiot? Y'all have never built nothing. That's what women talk about. Ta, si, we got this. Look, you boys need supervision. Ta, si, let me tell you what you don't have is supervision. <laughs> hey, <look. laughs> hey, tell you how much money I got in this? He hadn't got my labor bill yet. I thought y'all were helping a friend out. What happened to that? Hey, this is the buddy of the family system, okay? We help each other out. Hey, look, what's the point of having family and friends if you can't ask them for help every once in a while? Y'all wear me out with asking for help. Hey, once I asked this family to help me clean a deer that I'd shot in their backyard. You always asking favors, but you never help out with any favors. Hey, they asked me, who are you? I said, hey, I'm Uncle Si. You gonna help me or not? Well, hey, no, they didn't help me. Hey, some family they are. I ain't never asked for no favors. Yes, you have. I've absolutely never asked for a favor. Who helps you do all your projects? I just never needed any help. I just do. I will honestly say we owe you one. Everybody needs help at least once in their life. Especially you. Yeah. So I need help <laughs> once a day. What are you talking about? Y'all ain't got it straight. Let me get out there and look at that thing. It don't have to be straight. Hey, so no. I, I'm going to fish hey. off of it. I'll test this thing for you. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so much for supervision. Hey, y'all want to hear another football story? No. Let me tell you about my best game. Si. Best game ever. Watching my Uncle Si tell a story about football. That was my sport. It's a lot like watching the Super Bowl on TV. The game itself is only a small part of it. This is not going to start on a football field. What? It always starts with some pregame hype. This team was 9 and 0. But hey, this dude weighs 197 and looks like King Kong. Then you hear a little bit about team strategy. Coach says, OK, somebody has got to knock this big guy off his feet. So I finally said, hey, I'll get him, Coach. What? <laughs> 135 pounds, killer Count Robertson. <laughs> but look, that ain't the good part. So I get to the point. And then, you know, two hours later, the game starts. They get the ball five players late, Boom, in the zone. OK, 7 to 0. We scored 10 times in a row. What? The score is 70 to 14. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, you have halftime.
Then you got your commercial break. Epsom salt will get rid of the pain. If you got a backache, Vicks Vapor Rub. Ben Gay. Isn't it Ben Gay? Is that the name of it? It's like a magic formula. I'm telling you. Then before you know it, the game's back on. The little guy catching it and getting killed. Huh? Whoa! Boom! Whoa! Boom! Booyah! Game over. 77 to 14. Si, have you done anything today? No. Nah. Bam! Boom town! Gentlemen, look. Coasters. You got one with me on it, Will? <laughs> In a big family, every sibling has their place. I'm the boss hog. Jace attempts to run the duck call room, and Jeff is Kay's favorite. I was about to drink on a Jeff coaster. Man, I got no bobblehead, no coaster. Maybe we can make some Jeff toilet paper. Oh. And that'd be cool. Yeah. And I always go the extra mile to make sure Jeff never starts to feel more important than he is. Seriously. I don't see what Kay sees in that guy. All right, y'all said y'all would help me, so I need y'all to help me. You want to cash in your points right now? I want to cash them in. Y'all gonna have to help me. I'm gonna get me a hot dog. What? A hot dog. A what? A hog? A hot tub. Oh, a hot tub. A hot tub? A hot tub. A hot tub. I want a hot tub. No self-respecting man would have a hot tub. I would. That's my point. They're hey. awesome. It's a big, like, bathtub with friends. See? What? Wouldn't that be cool? You just want to go get a hot tub? That's the favor? If a man wants a hot tub, he should get a hot tub. I'll get him a laptop. We'll find one. Please don't. Hot tub get party! Hot tub. hot tub party. Everybody's invited. Clothing optional. I'm joking. What are you looking for? I'm hunting an extension cord, Miss Kay. Well, I'm looking for that smell. That's what I'm looking for. For what? For that smell. It's supposed to make me throw up. You betcha. Bingo. I have found it. That's right where I left it. Oh, yeah. There they come, right there. Hey, boy, y'all really look like a bunch of rednecks. <laughs> hey, Fat <Fifa laughs> Phil. These days, it's hard to get your grandchildren to come help you do anything. Yeah, I got a little lesson for them here today. You have to come up with some kind of excuse to get them on the premises. Y'all got my tarp? We got it. Got it. Things like, hey, bring that tarp up, bro. I need a tarp. Uh, good work. Presto, you look up, you got a labor force. I've got an adventure for y'all. Y'all gonna be jumping up and down about this one. Yeah, I can tell you was excited. Old Papa slicked him again. Grab that tarp. Yes, sir. So what are we doing? It's an adventure, Willie's child. John, there's some cool ones. About six grand. What's your budget? Not many. Not many? Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> I don't reference money by many, but what? All I can spend is two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars? Two hundred dollars. So you want a used one? With speakers. I just want to say something for the record. I am in protest of this. All right, noted. When it comes to germs, Jace is a walking contradiction. This whole thing is a bad idea. He has no problem crawling through swamps and other disgusting stagnant bodies of water. A used hot tub? But just the mention of a man-made place with clean, animal-free water is enough to send him on a ramp for a week. You're gonna get the measles from it. Blisters, skin rashes, or hepatitis. Overcome by bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> he calls himself a purist. But everyone else just calls him a germaphobe. I want a hot tub. He ain't talking me at it. Man wants a hot tub. Hey, and I know where he can find one. At Squirrels. That's actually not a bad idea, because all he has is crap, so. We're gonna get a hot tub with speakers. I'm not sure if you can afford the speakers, too, but we're gonna try. You may just have to park your truck by it. This is the biggest mistake of your life, going, but I'll help you. Come on, drama right, queen. Let's go squirrels. Hey! Hey, I'm not gonna find me something I wanna buy down there at squirrels. I just want a hot tub with speakers. Or hepatitis. Jace!
I want a hot tub. A buddy of mine got his hair clogged in the drain. I ain't got no hair. You got any back hair? I'll stay away from the drain. Hello, Clarice. I mean, Jace. Is anybody back there? Sa, si, come on back. Cut it to your left. Sa, si, can you even see the trailer hitch? It's under your truck. Look, back in Nam, I was an air traffic controller. Hey, look, help me out there. People don't understand. You can say anything with hand signals. This thing comes straight back. Sa, si, I can't see you. Hey, this and that. I can say clear for takeoff, ready for landing. Sir, what does that mean? Left. Would you like to dance? Ta, ta. Hey. Did you just see that? Sir, huh? Stand up. May I use your glasses? I think I'm about to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What time is it? Good grief, what are you doing? Get it straight. Come on back. Ah, oh, that's good. Stop, if I mess my truck up, you're paying for it. Hey, not a change. I ain't paying for nothing. What? That's horrible directions. Hey, you wasn't available to my air trough directions. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. What are y'all doing? I'm trying to talk him out of doing this so we don't waste the whole day. He ain't talking me out of it. Well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Sai, si, hook the trailer All up. Right. Can you do that? Can you do one yeah, thing? Yeah, I got that. I got it. All right, you boys ready to go? We're ready. All right, let's go get a hot tub. We're speaking. We're going to get it. Sir, the hey. trailer's not hooked up. <laughs> All right, you kids are fresh out of the subdivision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What have you noticed so far, just looking around? What have you noticed? Green. Trees. Sky. My grandkids are suffering from a personality crisis. Trees. Clouds. Trees. Green. Uh, that means they don't have one. What are you seeing, Jean-Luc? Jean-Luc? Trees. Trees. Boy, what a great answer there based on their vacant stairs. They may be beyond repair, but let's give her a try. Food. What if everything goes south? There are no chicken nuggets, no big, tall Coca-Colas and fries. What then? We would survive like the Walking Dead. What? Now look, you see that? This is a May haul. It's like a little apple. Everything goes south. Like in The Walking Dead? You'll be eating good. Yeah, like in The Walking Dead. John Luke. Whatever that is, one thing for sure, we'll have plenty of May haul jelly. Jelly for everybody. You fired up about it there, Loud Boots? You're going to grab those trees with both hands, and you're going to shake them. You get on that tree, you get on this one. When I tell you, start shaking. You ready? On the count of three. One, two. Three, start shaking. Hard. Oh! Not man. bad. No, no! No! Looking good. Looking good. Shake hard. It's a May haul picking. You're going back to your roots. Well, check it out. It doesn't have any speakers. <laughs> the boards are rotten. It stinks. I'm pretty sure it's disease infested. Squirrel used this thing. No offense, Squirrel. That's cool. <laughs> I and mean, this is a human cesspool. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. I got to have it. All right, we'll take it. All right. Got a deal? Deal done. Pay on your way out. All right. Let's take it home. All right, let's go. I'll go get the part, Liv. I'll just put it on your bill. <laughs> so what do we do next? We're going to wait approximately 10 minutes with a low fire under that. 
10 minutes. You got to wait, wait, wait. Good things come to those who are waiting. Patient. You know how bored they get in 10 minutes. Yeah, that's why it's a good lesson to learn. Good things come to those who wait. Patience. It's hard for kids these days to learn patience. Two things require patience. <laughs> People. No, no. Come on. People. No, no. They can hardly sit still, let alone wait for jelly to cook. People and Mayhall jelly. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait in line, wait in the group. They just need more time with me and Phil. Therefore, you have to wait on people. They'll learn. No, no! Patience, see what I'm saying? Gowan, where you want it? Put it right there. In your front yard? Nobody puts their hot tub in the front yard. I meant, where do you want it in the backyard? Perfect, right there. That's the same place. You just moved it down the hill 20 feet. I want it in the front yard. Hey, look, Gowan, you need to think about your neighbors, OK? What's the deal? Why, why do you want it up here? They wake up, they have a light breakfast, they come out the door. I like to watch the cars go by. What are you, a dog? <laughs> and then the first thing that greets them in the morning, a nude and rude man in a hot tub. You sure you don't want the bat? No. Hey, it's disgusting. I think I'm about to barf. I want it in the front, y'all. Fine, I don't care. All Who right, cares? let's drop it off. Is this gonna be perfect? Get on the smart end. I got the dumb end, Gavin. Here's a riddle. How many Duck Commander employees does it take to unload one worthless hot tub? Push it up. Now up. Now up. No, not that way. You need one with Trump-like vision and leadership. We're going to do the up, back, and slide method. Three more to grunt and revisit high school football injuries. Go hit me in the head. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey, good Lord. Oh. Hey, 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 whoa. And one to be a lazy bum. I found a ladybug. Or two lazy bums. Hot I can't reach any hot, hot tub. I guess the real question is, why does Duck Commander have so many numb skull employees? Don't scar it up. Watch out, son. This thing's happening. Hey, 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 there went the side. Oh, 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 Disgusting hot tub. This board's broke. That's just cosmetics, Calvin. You better hurry up if you're gonna get that thing ready by the time your woman gets home. That's right. I'll get the wood glue. We're almost ready for the first batch of jelly. I'm pretty excited about it. You pretty excited about it, son? Yes, sir. I'm starving. Okay. Food is one of the best teaching tools that there is. And that's especially true when you're dealing with teenage boys. That is good. I'm gonna try some. The hungrier they are, the better they listen to you. What about, what about you, uh, Big Boots? Mm, yeah, that's good. Plus, it builds a lot of character. Mm, mm. Tasty. I'm gonna try some. Oh, yeah. We got something going there. Mm. Mm, mm. mm. Lord knows the boy needs a lot of that. Jean-Luc, look alive, son. That's good. The woods provide, never doubt it. Look, that's just one. This is really good, actually. Well, let's go. Yes, sir. The lesson you've learned today is what? Waiting. Patience. Going in. All right, here we go, guy. We're making memories for you. Oh, this is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, old buddy? This is cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Now. Now, there's my picture. Hey, hey, hey. Got one. How's it going in there? Oh, it's nice. It shined up pretty good. Look. Where, where's the bubbles? Turn it on. Fire it up, Will. I'm turning it on. Now. Fire in the hole. Did 
Is this what you press? Fire on the grill, Jack! Uh -oh. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. In all the years I've known Galvin, I've never seen him this happy. Hey, get up in here. No. Get in here. No. Get in here. Y'all don't want to get in here? Galvin, stop it. He's happier than a pig in mud. John, you've got crap all over your chest. Yeah, it could be a squirrel turd. Oh, this is great. Which is actually a fitting comparison when you consider how disgusting that water probably is. I don't know what you're missing. It's kind of loud, isn't it? What? Y'all gonna want some of this. Come on. No. No, I really don't want any of that. Woo! What happened to my bubble? It bubbled out. Well, John, for one second. Oh, chili dog. Oh. Oh. That hurt him there. Dude, I had my hands in that yeah. water. That was chili dog bubbles there. I'm out of here, boys. Oh, come on. All right, Godwin. Good grief. Good job. You need a bit of work in the morning. I appreciate it, Joe. Have fun, sir. Stay away from that drain. Hey, it's looking again. Y'all come back. I got my hot tub. I got my hot tub. And you don't. Father, thank you for the fried chicken. The Mayhall jelly that you raise out in the wild, you have blessed us mightily. We're thankful, Father, for Jesus. So it's through him I ask this prayer. Amen. 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 Sometimes doing a favor for a friend can be quick and easy. Other times, it means you'll be spending all day at a stinking junkyard. The point is, you can't pick and choose how you help somebody. You just help them because they've been there to help you. And in the end, if you can put a smile on a buddy's face, it's worth all the trouble. Plus, it means I'm off the hook for favors for a while. Godwin, you're glowing. Like in The Walking Dead? Pipe down, will you? Here we go, the big reveal. Here we go. Your hands are too tight. No, they're not. They stink. Walk left, walk left. They stink like fish. It's crappie. What do you think, Kay? It's not finished. We know it's not finished, Mom. My mom has always wanted to share her cooking with the world. So when a space opened up next to the Duck Diner, she and Alan decided to open a bakery. There's no walls, and there's electrical wires everywhere. As the business expert of the family, I offered to advise her, from one CEO to another. I mean, we got holes in here. The only problem is, my mom's not much of a CEO type. You've got to be able to see what's not in here. OK. Well, it's easier to imagine if you're actually looking at it. You can say, oh, I can put this here and that here. Shut up. I'm trying to imagine it. Lucky for her, her favorite son's here to help out, which is me, her favorite son. She may not admit it, but I think that's what she thinks. In my imagination, I just saw colors and, and pretty stuff and finished stuff. Okay, that's going to happen. You know I'm a finisher. I like a finish. You're a finisher? You're a finisher? I just don't know how I'm going to bake and fill up this place with my pies. You're not going to be cooking all the pies. Other people do the work. I don't make all the duck calls. I mean, I guess I can show them all my tricks. Okay, it's not that difficult. I tried to teach you how to make a pie, and you couldn't do it. Your big old hands wouldn't even do it. They tore up the whole crust. Big old hands? You remember that? Well, you did have big hands, and you couldn't make the pie dough. I mean, just admit it. No. Big hands. Okay, we've got everything lined up. Well, what about all these holes? Okay. Mom. I ain't got time for that. Hey, y'all never believe what I read about. Huh. I read that, hey, this guy trained a monkey, OK? Look, and then the monkey became an award-winning chef. What? He's booked for the next 10 years. Si, that's not real. This was on the cover of Life magazine. Oh, OK. I did a whole article about him, showed the, you know, his award-winning, yo, cookery that he done. Cookery. Cookery. <laughs> 
What does he cook? Uh, anything to do with bananas. <laughs> Speaking of all this, hey, I'm getting hungry. Where are we going for lunch? Y'all want to go to the diner? Eh, no. Mexican? In the same old places. Hey, I got a place. Have you ever had a fried green tomato BLT? Think about it. Look, Galvin isn't exactly the most discerning individual when it comes to the culinary world. On a scale from one to 10, where does it rank? 10. A 10? <laughs> However, that also means that he's tried just about everything. I don't know about frying a tomato. <laughs> Forget fried. That's what I said, too. So when it comes to finding new food to try, I trust the man with my lunch hour. We got to go. Where is it? In Vicksburg. Mississippi? Yeah. I mean, that's quite a lunch break, don't you think? Because it'll take us an hour and a half to get there. I'm in. Except don't cook them. Don't cook them. It's a vegetable, OK? Don't cook it. It's a fruit. No, it ain't a fruit. It's fruit. Tomato is not a fruit. It's I a fruit. I made them all my life. Sorry, just because you've eaten them, that doesn't mean it's that not a fruit. don't make it a vegetable. Hey, oh, yeah, it does. Hey, a peach is a fruit. A apple is a fruit. A tomato, that's the vegetable. Hey, what's inside a peach and an apple? Huh? A seed. What's inside a tomato? It's a vegetable. Oh, he got you on that. <laughs> he got you. Admit it. How do you mean he got you? Admit it. Just because it's got a seed in it? Yeah. The definition of a fruit. No. Well, grapes have got seeds in them. Hey. And it's a... It's a grape. It's a grape. I'm going with Martin on this one. What do you mean you're going with Martin? He's smarter than you. It's not a fruit. Oh, here Just we go. Just because it's got a seed, you call it a fruit? It's kind of the definition of it. That changes everything. Who put this on my desk? Oh, boy. <laughs> you found that? What's wrong with the girl's leg? Question for you. Yeah. Tomato, fruit or vegetable? All right. It's a vegetable. No, it's a fruit. It's a, fruit. It's a vegetable. All right, look, I got a specialty order I need done today. Look, if a tomato is a fruit, then a banana is a vegetable. It okay. Is, it is a fruit. But you but need work, to say, when work, I say work, work, what? You can work and talk at the same time. Hey, no. Work. What did he say? I don't know. My belly's growling. Let's go. I'm starved. Let's go. Get your tools. Let's get our stuff. What are we going to do about that order, though? We'll do it on the way. It's a vegetable. <laughs> Blueprints. What do you think, Mom? I don't like it. It's got Miss Kay's bakery. Bakery's just kind of boring. I thought she wanted to call. What did you say? Sweets and eats. Like you can see little can can girls that sweets and eats. Miss Kay's got it. Sweets and eats. <laughs> and I'll think of some more words later. That's catchy. Let's put that on the back burner. I love the name Sweets and Eats, see? Sweets and Eats. How do you think Willie got so fat? Sweet so How about that? Hey, see? Hi. 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 Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Now that the plans for the bakery are starting to come together, we decided to get some help. What's up, Luigi? So we brought on my daughter, Alex, to be the head chef and her husband, Vinny, to run the place. Now, like we talked about, Mom, Vinny's going to be the general manager. Alex is going to be making your desserts. Which I'm feeling really good about. I mean, just look at the power stash that Vinny is sporting. That's got upper management written all over it. He has a really cool mustache. I thought I was going to make the pies. Okay, you don't have time to make all the pies. Remember that time I made 15 pies? We're going to be selling hundreds of pies. Mom, OK, got... we got this. Well, I don't have a Harvard degree from cooking school, but I have a heart. Just think about it, Mom. Your cooking DNA flowed through me into Alex, your granddaughter. Think about that. I love y'all, but you know that when I'm the boss, mm -hmm. OK, well, it's my way or the highway. Deal. You're the boss. But I'm a sweet boss, I always sweet. I'm sweet like my sweets. That could be in the jingle, too. Sweet to me, sweet to me. Willie's so fat. Willie's so fat. Mom, I know you got some reservations. So we set up a little test here today for them to be able to cook your recipes. So you're going to pick something, they're going to cook it. It's my treasure. I got it. Mm -hmm. Remember that. So pick out a recipe. Well, I see. I can't even see that. Alice, you can tell that what this is, right? Well, I tried to color code it, kind of. 
I'll die with this one. Let's try something we can read. What's the, what about that? You just passed that one right there. Oh, you can read that, can't you? Good old coconut pie. Coconut can you pie. read that? Do you have anything like typed? Trust me, I've looked in the box. Everything here was the last millennium. Okay, um, two cups of sweetness. Sugar, sugar. Okay, okay. sugar, we can sugar. I try to be poetic in my recipes. I always knew that one day I'd have to hand over my recipes to the next generation. You have two chunks of butter. A chunk is like chunk, chunk, you know, something like that. I guess I just thought it'd be a lot older when it happened, though. The uniformity in a recipe is really what you're normally looking for. Why do you keep using those big words? Uniformity? I mean, I'm only 67. 65, if anyone asks. They can do this. You just got to sit back, relax, let them do what they're trying to do. But, Al, it's my recipes. I know it's your recipes. I don't know that, no offense, because I love you so much. I'm just afraid you can't do it. We'll show you how we can do it. Passing the torch. There's not a real torch here. Well, pass the pie cake. Passing the pies. Excellent. Baby. Thanks. See, see Thank he's you. a businessman. See how he did that? Well, now, he's good with words. And with business. And with pies. And he's got a great mustache. Al, I don't really know what the mustache has to do with it, but it's really nice. Boy, that more sweet is your mama's love. Ooh. That baby there is worth 25 bucks. Where is this place? Well, you go down here, you know that pothole dried up? Pothole. You go past it, and then that fork and tree that the lightning struck about seven years ago with the dog pen under it, remember? No. There was a tire there one time. A tire? No, one of them hand tanner tires. A so tower? You got two cars and a dip. You don't remember any kind of street names or? It's about that barn. Barn? Now, there's some directions there. Well, you don't turn there, you keep going past it. Pull over. Uh-oh. Huh? Because I got to take a leak. Si, this is not a safe area. What are you going to do if you run into a bear? What do you think you're supposed to do, Si, while I'm looking this up? You pull your gun out and shoot him. Do not run. You can't outrun a bear. Don't even try it. I don't hate to outrun the bear. All I got to do is I outrun the guy with it. You think a little bear is going to stop me from taking a leak? I don't think so. Talk calmly so it knows you're a human. Hello, bear. Uh, Climb a tree if available. You're making that up. Everybody knows when you encounter a bear, all you got to do is run up and go, ah! And hey, he runs away. It's simple. Use your pepper spray. Make sure you spray this downwind. <laughs> or poop your pants. Look, there ain't an animal in the whole animal kingdom that will eat something and will poop all over it. Trust me, I know firsthand. Are you sure this is where you need to take a leak? <laughs> yeah, I'm just right. saying, there's I a bear what you crossing no, sign I right there, sir. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> Fine, no, I'll, uh, I'll wait till I get to civilization. <laughs> Give me to the bridge, and I'll be off the Mississippi River Bridge. <laughs> hey, I'd like to do that. All right, Kay, moment of truth. Ready? Smell that? Mm, the wafting, good. wafting, wafting. Mine are usually bigger. Let's at least try some. See, look how she got the little toasted in there. It definitely has the colors that are correct. And I want that little piece of crust there. I mean, I'm mm. not being particular, but mm -hmm. I have to get a bite of everything. All right. The moment of truth. Here we go. OK. You have to close your eyes before you do. Well, I'm imagining. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a oh good coconut pie. Mom. I mean, that's like right there. Mm. The type of person you are really shows up in your cooking. Like if Bala made a pie, it would taste like pushy opinions. It's look. fluffy. It's got the nice Not pink. as smooth. See, that mine looks like smooth. silk. When you eat my pies, it makes you feel warm, happy, and comforted. That's more like satin, you think, instead Styrofoam. of silk? Styrofoam. Styrofoam. Alex, on the other hand, too perfect. It's like a machine made it. My flavor is like. And what is this flavor like? It's like younger. But machines don't make love, except for Wally. I love that movie. You can't get that full 
buttery taste without a big chunk of butter. We used a whole chunk of butter. Okay, so maybe an extra dollop next time. This is the type of pie that's really scalable. We could make a hundred of these in at least an hour. Are you crazy? That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be mass producing these and making a lot of money. You can't mass produce love. But you can mass produce pies. Boy, this is good. These are excellent tomatoes. And how about this ambiance? Do you know what ambiance is? No. Good idea, Gollum. Even though you lost me when you didn't eat anything with tomatoes in it. Because I got good chili dog. I need some more hot dogs. Hey, fellas, how y'all doing this evening? Oh, we're doing good, good, brother. We got a contest going here. Contest? With 10 hot dogs, two minutes, <laughs> you get a shirt. <laughs> two minutes is not long. You sure you can do that? Chili dogs, baby. Gawain is a real wild card. Somehow, he got us to the tomato place without any directions. Throw that hat in, I'll try. I can do that. <laughs> and after raving over their fried tomatoes, He's opting for chili dogs. Sure. How about that? Bring on the dog. I'm going to go get you some dogs. You would think that engaging in a hot dog eating contest right after you've already eaten a couple chili dogs for lunch would be a bad idea. But this is Goblin we're talking about, after all. Goblin, there ain't no way. There they come. There you go. Ooh. Ain't no way. 10 oh, hot dogs, goodness. two minutes. I'm ready. Go. Go. A record. Glory. T-shirt. Hat. We got a minute and a quarter left. He's halfway home, boy. Let's go, Gowan. Come on, buddy. Be slowing down, guys. 45 seconds. He's not going to make it. Uh-oh. He's beginning to sweat. More than normal. He fixes the blow, boys. This makes me want to bomb. Three, two, two one. one. Swallow it, Gowan. Do it. <laughs> oh, he did it. Wow. I need a bucket. How you feeling now? Starting to sway up a little bit. Hey, where's my shirt? <laughs> oh. I found your shirt. Yeah. So. I thought this was a rag. Let's go to the bottom of the deck. Hey, you want this shirt? No. Is your sure shirt no. here? You might want to watch that when you get on. No. I've lost every stinking shirt I've got from that place. Well, here, it could have been worse. Right. Could have had some boogers in it. But it does have boogers. Tomato. You gonna eat that thing like an apple? Right off the vine. Uh oh. What? Your phone ringing. Yeah. We're almost there. I'm fixed to pull in the parking lot. So we've got tons of orders. Oh, he's outside, bro. This is kind of weird that I'm talking to you while I'm looking at you. So. I missed. He hung up on me. He oh. was dodging a tomato. What seems to be the problem? Where have y'all been? On lunch break. You get a one-hour lunch break. We've been in Vicksburg. Vicksburg? Mississippi. About five minutes ago, I realized that it had been a while since I had seen or heard any of the guys around the warehouse. Even Cy wasn't in the bathroom like he normally is. So you drove an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. Just more like two hours. Was I surprised they went to Vicksburg for lunch? Not really. Am I mad they did? Yes. You only do that on Saturday when you're not at work. We saved up our minutes. It's called rollover minutes. But not as mad as I was to find out they didn't bring me anything back. Word to the wise, bring leftovers back for your boss if you take a long lunch break. That's just business 101. Did y'all forget about the order that I told you? No, hey, we look, got the we order, got the order done. Done. Huh. Well, while you were gone, we got about eight more orders. We'll do them tomorrow. If you're going to take five-hour lunch breaks, now you got to stay five hours extra. But that time was owed us. Yeah, it's called rollover minutes. Goblin, what are you doing with a stupid hat on? I want it. Eating chili dog. I don't know if that's the look you need. 
How about tomatoes? They're fresh. Now, y'all gonna get these orders done tonight. Well, you're gonna pay us overtime. I ain't paying you're you. You're buying crap. supper. If I'm working overtime, you're buying supper. Y'all can eat them tomatoes for supper. You're a terrible boss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Roll it up. Uh -oh. Roll it up. Uh -oh. God, crap. That got me. Good grief. A boy like to bust in the window. Hey. <laughs> you like that again, dummy? <laughs> I think my song's gonna be a hit. Yeah, I can see it on iTunes. What is that? Mom. Here we go. Y'all ready for some fried pies? Aha! Uh -huh. Since Alex's coconut pie was not enough to convince her of her cooking skills, we're hoping to change Mom's mind by upping the ante with her most difficult recipe, the fried pie. Mmm. Smell pretty good. Oh, yeah. If Mom doesn't like this, I'm just giving up and starting my own bakery. Al's really more of a deli name, though. You buy a pie from Miss K. You don't buy a pie from Miss Al. Give him a try. Corned beef from Al? Mwah. Cherry pie from Al? You first. The moment of truth. Mm. Mom, that's fantastic. Mmm. You nailed it. Thank you. Not bad. Come on. I didn't even get any fruit on the first bite. Eat it in the middle. My mouth's not as big as yours. <laughs> it's not that Alex's pie is bad. I just feel like it's missing something. I don't know, Adam. I usually bake the most love into my fried pie. Mom, they're delicious. But Alan, you'll eat anything. That's not true. It's just like I'm still not tasting the love. Oh, man, am I glad you're here. Perfect timing, Dad. I thought I smelled fried pies all the way from the bayou down there. Yeah, we want you to try one of these, Dad. Don't mind if I do. We want your honest opinion. My honest opinion? Yep. Let me see what y'all got here. Flaky, flaky. So what'd you do differently here? You don't really like it, do you? Like it? I love it, honey. The crust is flakier. Really? Yep. Mm. Miss Kay, I noticed something. Your cooking gets better with age. Tell Dad who made the pies. Alex made the pies. Right mm -hmm. here. Well, honey. Bring it in. Think people buy that, Dad? They will come from miles around to get to that. So, Mom, Dad obviously loves it. Are we going to do this? I'll admit it when I'm wrong. You can preserve my recipes. We'll do our best. Mom. Show Dad your jingle. Sweets and eats, sweets and eats, dun 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 dun, dun sweets and eats, Miss Kay's. What do you think? I like that tune. It makes you want to move, doesn't it? Bingo. And Bobo likes it too. But he also licks his own butt. All right, y'all bow. Father, we thank you for another day here on planet Earth. Uh, I pray, Father, you bless Vinny and Alex along with Miss Kay, their restaurant business. Thank you, Father, for the wonderful gift. Through Jesus, I pray, amen. 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 All right, boys, let's get on in five. We've all had to take risks at some point in our lives. Sometimes they pan out, like Miss Kay sharing her treasured family recipes. And other times, they were really dumb ideas to begin with and inevitably fail. Like four of my boneheaded employees taking a five-hour lunch break in Mississippi. But even with the potential for failure, you can't let that stop you from taking a chance. Sweet and eats, sweet and eats. Willie's so cool, Willie's so cool.